Hello viewers, today I'm going to show you how to make this rangoli pattern. This is a reusable rangoli. For this you need this pattern which you can make as many pieces as you like according to your creativity on the pattern what you want to create. But this is the main one which uh, you need to make uh, multiple things. Let's see the materials. First you need a maroon color cotton silk cloth. And I've taken one more uh, cloth which is in patterned uh, cotton silk one which has maroon color and also gold color in it which will actually match with the cloth. You need some chart paper, uh, the real good quality one, the thick up quality. Don't go in for the thinner one. You need a white glue, any white glue would do but I would prefer using fabric glue so I have opted for the fabric glue you need a paperweight it should be flat at the bottom and some pen or sketch pens then scale, scissor And the accessories, these are the pearl rings, small one and flower pattern. And there's a fla fla half pearl, which is flat at the bottom. It helps in sticking easily. Half pearl, I would prefer. Now the kundans, three petal kundans, silver colored one. Now let's start doing the outer square, which is in 10 centimeter. The inner square is uh, actually 6 centimeters, but first let's do with the outer one. Uh, mark 10 centimeters on the chart paper on both the sides and draw lines and cu cut it out. Now we have got the, uh, the square of 10 centimeters. Apply glue generously onto it and spread it at all, uh, along all the places with a brush. Any brush would do, not that you need a new one, even the old one would do, which you are not using for the painting. And now uh, take this uh, square and keep it onto the uh, maroon color cloth and stick it onto the cloth and rub with the paperweight gently so make sure that it doesn't move from its place so for that you support it with the left hand and then rub it with the right hand cut it out from the main cloth leaving some space all at the edges and the corners so now remove the extra cloth and at the corner now on the front side just rub it slowly so that there would not be any wrinkles you can see that there are no wrinkles now to stick to the stick the edges first cut the triangle shape at all the corners and remove it off all the four sides just cut the triangle shaped one cloth and remove it out now you can see once it's done it's like this Now apply glue generously onto the extra cloth what is left out and stick it onto the chart paper. Just press a little so that there would, no, there would not be any wrinkles which gives a very good uh, square form for our rangoli. Repeat it for all the four sides. Make sure that it's stuck properly to give it a proper square shape and clean the table so that the extra glue should not stick to the front side of the rangoli which will leave a, a marks on the rangoli which will not look good when the final finishing is done so you need to take care of the cleaning of the table also now the last side oh, 
once this is done just again uh, just slightly press it with the uh, paper weight and then you can see there are some threads which you can cut it out with the scissor and remove it off to give a proper neat look for the rangoli now you can see that the square shape is looking good it's in the proper square shape now let's do the smaller square which is 6 cm square now mark 6 cm on the chart paper and cut it out as we did for the previous one that was 10 cm and this is 6 cm make sure that the shape is very nicely painted now apply glue but before that you take out the cloth now you can see that the this is the front side and there's the back side so keep the back uh, back side of the cloth ready and then apply glue and take the brush and spread it evenly now place it onto the cloth leaving some space at all the sides press it slightly with the paper weight make sure that it doesn't move from its original place the chart paper now remove it from the main cloth now you can see that there's a lot of extra cloth so i'm removing it off now you can see the front side also just rub it slightly with the paper weights make sure that there are no wrinkles again repeat the same way cut a triangle shaped cloth at all the four sides and now let's stick the edges put some glue and stick it onto the chart paper all the four sides have to be stuck properly with the glue apply glue generously otherwise the cloth will not stick properly Once all the four sides are done, uh, you can cut the extra threads at the corners and remove it out. Make sure that you don't disturb the shape of the square and remove only the extra ones. Do it very carefully. Now you can see that the, the, both the squares are ready. Now let's stick the second square onto the first one. Now again apply glue on the second one and just spread it across. Use a brush to spread it all over. And stick it onto the first square. Make sure that you stick it at the equal distance from all the sides and press it slightly with the paper weight so that it sticks properly now let's start with the accessories first I'll stick with the pearl half pearl in the middle just a drop of glue and place the pearl onto it make sure that it is at the center of the rangoli now I'll stick the kundans on four sides of the pearl uh, just to give a square shape again onto it it's your creativity however you would like to you can do it I have used these kundans and have you done it
Now stick it at equal distances. Make sure that it's aligned properly. Before the glue dries, if there is any difference, you can make it proper. Now let's start with the pearl rings. All along the outer uh, side of the small ring, a small square. Now just apply the glue and start sticking along the outer uh, side of the smaller square. Make sure that it's aligned properly. Now repeat it for the second side, stick it onto the second side, the same way complete it for all the four sides. Now this is our finished rangoli motif. Now for a pattern which I have be, I'll be showing it to you. I have done five pieces of this bigger uh, square and uh, four pieces of the smaller squares. And now I'll show you how I'll arrange it. I'll keep one in the middle, then one on the top, one at the bottom. one to the right hand side one to the left hand side and in the middle i'll fill it with the sm smaller squares it looks very beautiful you can use it like that also uh, do like and subscribe to glam villa for more such videos thank you, thank you.